Hi, so today I want to talk about the heat bed. This is the heat bed I'm using. It's uh, it's from Two Trees Blue Air. I'm quite happy with this one. It comes with uh, connections already soldered. Like this. Very nice. Quality it's good. Um, it's 235 by 235 or 3 millimeters and it's 220 watts this is my main issue oh it's uh, 24 volt if I'm, yeah 24 volt okay so the problem with this bed is because it's 220 watts and my power supply as I've shown before It's rated sorry it's 24 volts 9 amps 221 watts so as you can see the my power supply has the same wattage wattage as the bed and the problem is the moment I turn on the bed it takes all the power and the steppers and everything shuts down even if you even if I use the uh, the pulse width modulation it doesn't help because for one microsecond when the bed turns on it draws all the power from the power supply so I tried to find a solution online I couldn't find so eventually I came came out with this so this is my transistor that turns on the bed and uh, I took the output Normally if you have a motherboard you can use this thing, you just take the output from the motherboard. Uh, so normally you have 12 or 24 volts coming from the power supply from here. It goes into the motherboard and you have the output for the bed where it will take out 12 or 24 volts. And you put it into this DC, DC to DC converter. And you just lower the voltage from 24 in my case to I have it lowered to 18 volts and this basically lowers the wattage for the bed down to 140 watts in my case so how you do this let me show you so I'm gonna I have to first unplug this oh it's already turned on sorry Okay, I connect my printer. I go here. First restart the firmware. Come on. So I go and turn my bed on. Let's put it for example to 60 degrees. You see it's 100 watts full. Oh, let me show you first. Okay, let's stop it. And Okay, so my power supply is connected to this watt meter and it's drawing uh, 4 watts as you can see. And now I'm gonna turn this on to 60. So you see it's 100 on. If I come here, see this one, it's lighting, it's showing 18 volts. And if I go here, you see it's drawing 148 watts. So how do you adjust this? Because I tried to calculate it and it didn't... Um, my numbers were not in <laughs> nowhere near the reality. So you just come here and adjust the voltage from here. You put it, it was 24 initially and you just put it down and you check the watt meter. That's my, how I did it. And uh, so I had 4 watts usage, now it's 134, so it's using around 130. Uh, yeah, this is still on 100, so it's fully turned on. And uh, if you want to increase the wattage, you just put more voltage here 
and uh, yeah, I don't know why it's going a bit down, but anyway, you just uh, put more voltage here, check the watt meter until you hit the wattage you want to use. So I'm using, I'm, I'm leaving around 50, 50 watts for the steppers and I don't know, whatever it is for the heaters as well. Yeah, it's basically the, the heater and the steppers. I'm leaving them around 50 watts so to be sure everything works fine. Okay, so this is how you can uh, let's turn this off. Let me disconnect everything, turn this one off and let me show you what I'm using here. So you see it's a DC DC XL4016. I think this one can take around 8, 8 or 10 amps, something like this. You, you need to make sure that uh, the DC to DC converter can support uh, um, 140 watts or 200 whatever you want to use with it. So this is basically how you can lower the wattage in case your bed is drawing too much.